What's going on, everyone? It's time for another found footage, mockumentary-style horror film review, horror thriller film review. Today, we're going to talk about Megan is Missing. It was, it was released sometime May in May 2011, and it was directed by Michael Goy, who did films like Mary, the found footage phenomena, Hellmaster, and the Town that Dreaded Sundown, the 2014 remake. This had a budget of thirty-five thousand dollars. So this is a uh, uh, this is sort of like in the same style as Unfriended. It's basically um, a film of a girl who goes, Megan, who goes missing after talking to some random person online and meets them, and she hasn't been seen since. So her friend starts doing a video diary, and she ends up going missing too. And but the killer takes the camera with them, and, with them, and films what actually is happening when the, she slowly uncovers what actually happened to Megan. Overall, this film was pretty slow and boring for the most part. Uh, the characters are your typical annoying party years. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the acting in this is, um, some of it's good, some of it's pretty wooden and not that great. So it kind of takes the believability out of the story and stuff like that for the way they're trying to present it, which kind of hindered the film in a way um it's not badly shot it's done to make it look like it was filmed on self and probably was to be honest and uh yeah for the most part i thought the characters and stuff were pretty dull and uh wasn't really interesting and then once they actually get to like the kidnapping of her friend and stuff it definitely takes a darker turn it gets very aggressive and brutal through it where even i was sort of like squinting and like squirming through it and that because that one seemed pretty believable i don't think they actually told her what's going to happen and stuff and this is definitely going to trigger some people and it's going to make people feel very uneasy i know it makes the younger ones younger than me like i'm 32 now and i watch horror and thrillers and stuff all the time and this one it kind of did but it kind of didn't because i kind of could tell it wasn't that realistic but uh for what it was it still had a good dark tone to the end and except for the very end the last five minutes gets pretty dull uh pretty dull and annoying <laughs> at the end which uh kind of ends with a monologue and it's kind of just really annoying and didn't really need to be there which kind of also if they just abruptly cut and then it was the end it would have been better but still for what it is it was better than i was expecting and overall it was i can see why people find this movie disturbing and creepy and odd <laughs> all at the same time because i sort of had that feeling too uh, but yeah the music in it, there's not very much, so it wasn't really noticeable. And the cinematography is iffy, if, but it's found footage, so obviously it's not going to be the best. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, overall, I'll give Megan is missing a 3 out of 5. It was decent enough, and uh, it was better than some of the other ones I've watched last month. So, yeah. If you want to check it out, you can watch it for free on Tubi. I'll link it down below so you can watch it for free. Also, link down below is my Instagram. That's where I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my stories. You put the film title in there and some fun fact, fun fact or history thing in there as well. Also, my letterbox down below to your reviews. That's where I post my first star rating right after watching the films. And my Twitter down below at reviews underscore Derek. So follow me on those platforms in the loop of this channel. Like this video, share it to more people, wherever a comment, your opinions of the film down below if you have any. If you have any films or film franchise in any genre and on any streaming service, I would hear my opinions on the future. Comment those down below too. I'm trying my best to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. Make sure you subscribe. Hope you find some weird, obscure, and odd they probably never thought of checking out together. And also, share my opinions on popular films that have come out, classic films, and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because, well, we're going to go into more like family comedy and dramas and stuff for a little bit. Starting off, one of the classic, forgotten classics from the 1990s, My Girl. So make sure you tune in for that. And uh, yeah, watch out for all those uh, re terrible people kidnapping people and torturing them. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.